Hey guys, it's Comic Uno. Today I'm doing the Defenders issue one. So let's talk about the issue and see what's going on. Let's talk about the cover first. Now, I really enjoyed this cover because uh, there's definitely a wide variety of people for this team. Uh, Red She Hulk, we got Iron Fist, Silver Surfer, Namor, and Doctor Strange. And they're, I think, different personalities. They bring different things to the table. So I think that could really, the variety of people in this could really bring a great team. And I can't wait to see how they work together and if how they win with their next villain and just how how well they work together or how bad they work together. I just think it's great they pick so many different people for this team. Uh, at first I wasn't going to pick this up but then I uh, read Marvel Point One and I thought the part where they did, gave like a little sneak peek for uh, the Defenders I said you know what this actually sounds pretty interesting and uh, that's the reason I picked it up. And um, I really like Silver Surfer and uh, Red She-Hulk and I guess Iron Fist I really like too. So those three characters being in the same team, I was like, gotta pick this up, see what's going on, and let's see if I like the issue. Alright, so in this story we have this monster creating havoc in the world. So Doctor Strange needs people's help. So he uh, talks to the Hulk first, actually. Actually, the Hulk talks to him, and he says, you know, um, there's stuff going on, I need your help. And Doctor Strange says, okay, what's going on? I need you to create a team to defeat this monster. And uh, Doctor Strange says, okay. And the Hulk says, first person I want you to get is Red She-Hulk. And then he gets Red She-Hulk. And then in the process, he gets uh, Silver Surfer. He gets uh, Iron Fist, and then he gets Namor. Well, I actually got Namor, then Iron Fist, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but so that's how he really creates a team. He just goes on to each person and says, could you help us? And he says, okay. And now this team is going to be about trying to defeat it, the impossible and trying to uh, defeat this monster. I'm guessing he's a monster. He's a monster. Let me show a picture of him. Here's the monster trying to create havoc in the world. So uh, he, I think these five people, right? Two, three, four, five. Yeah, five people are, are just going to try to defeat monsters from space or wherever, or just in who's whatever, creating havoc in the world. And this first monster is going to be the person they're going to try to defeat. So um, I thought it was a great story, uh, getting characters, like I said for the cover, different characters into the team. And um, I really love that, bringing so many different personalities into the team, so many different powers into the team. And uh, I can't wait to see what they bring to the table and see how they work together as a team. And I really liked how they introduced each character. You really got their uh, personalities and uh, really straight out. So if you are not familiar with uh, some of the characters, because uh, some of the characters you might not be familiar with. You might have heard of them, but you really don't know their personality because they're not so many comics like Wolverine and uh, Captain America. They're really uh, not in every comic book you see. So if you're not familiar with them, they really got their personality right. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to see what's going on with these characters and see if they keep the writer, I think Matt Fraction, keeps getting these personalities right. Because right now in the first issue, you got these characters correctly, and I can't wait to see what's going on. Uh, so I thought it was a really good issue, really good first issue. Um, I'm not a big person on team uh, series. But it seems like they're really going to get a story for each character. Something that I don't like about team issues is that we don't get to see everyone's personality. And we don't get to see every character talk. But there's uh, only five people on a team. So I think we really are going to get everyone's point of view in this series. And it did show that in the first issue. We did get everyone's point of view in just the first issue. So uh, I really like the art also. Uh, I mean, it's not... It's not bad. It's not abstract or anything, so they can go out on a limb. But I really like the art. It's good for each character, and um, hopefully they keep this art because I really enjoy the art. Uh, the one thing I just had a problem with was the monster. They didn't really introduce him that much. They didn't introduce the problem that much. They had like two pages, but we, he, they didn't really describe which monster this is. Maybe it came out of another series. I don't know. But uh, I feel like they should introduce that monster a little bit more to us because I'm still not really familiar with the monster. And uh, hopefully they uh, introduce him more in the next issue or maybe as they fight the monster or whatever. But um, still thought it was a pretty solid issue. Uh, can't wait to see how this team fights and join together and see what adventures they have ahead. Can't wait for issue two. I give this uh, four stars again. I just feel like they should have described that monster a little bit more. And I think that's important to the issue because uh, 
they are making this team because of this monster. So I think we should have learned a little bit more of uh, whoever is trying to have havoc in the world. But still, I thought it was a really good issue. And uh, can't wait until issue two and see what's going on with this team. And maybe more people will join the team. Who knows? So um, don't forget to tw uh, follow my Twitter. And the link for my Twitter will be on the description below. And I will just have like comic book news there. What video reviews I'm doing next and what topic videos I'm doing next so uh, follow me on Twitter and follow my other channel the Rand situations on Twitter which that link for uh, that Twitter will be in the description below so I hope you enjoyed this uh, review I give it four stars and I say pick it up and if you haven't learned any if you don't even know anything about these characters uh, still try to pick it up because I think they describe these characters well enough for you guys to understand uh, what their personalities are, and really for you guys to enjoy the series. So uh, this was Comic Uno, and I hope you enjoy. See you guys.